Roughly five years ago, I was helping tear down a tent at a convention and I dropped a cement weight that weighed about 35 pounds right on my foot. And I kind of shrugged it off at the time thinking that my, the reinforced toe of the boots had helped, but two days later my foot was swollen up, really hurt to put any type of weight on it, hurt to walk. The doctor went to the ER, they couldn't really figure it out. They thought it was... They gout, thought it was gout, said, right? Yeah. Is what they said. And so, the allopurinol is designed to lower uric acid. So uh -huh. I started taking that, testing my blood every six months, and it lowered my uric acid. Mm -hmm. Did exactly what it was supposed to do, but it had no effect on my foot. Yep. So it's okay if we see a callus right here, but what I'm feeling, and it's probably hard to see, there's, can you feel this, Shane? There's a callus underneath yes. all of these toes. There shouldn't be. There is because there's been a problem for so long that his foot has had to compensate so this is the good one, quote unquote good one. So we're gonna start with the left and we're gonna test this. It's called windless mechanism of Hicks. The whole foot should move as I bring the toe into this position. It does, you can see the arch there lift up. The camera see that? That whole arch lifts, yeah. That drops down and the foot lifts. This one's a little bit painful for him, right, Shane? So I'm going to just do it so we can see it, and we're going to get off of it. Nothing. Very, very minimal. And feeling the motion of the foot, right here is where the problem is. And you said that was the tender spot, right? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start moving some stuff around on the foot. We're going to start with the one right on the top there. And I'm just going to... Bring the foot toward me and then pull a little bit at the end, okay? There, good. Moved nice and easy. So I'm gonna come back under this. Yes. You feel the difference in that big toe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, how does it feel to you, that big toe? It feels like it's moving a lot easier. Yes. I'm just gonna lift that. That's it. There, even better. Yeah. This bone up on the top here mm -hmm. should glide backwards as I move your foot like this. It's not all the way. I'm gonna make a correction to that bone. Okay, and then I'm gonna come a little more on it. There we go. I'm gonna use the activator for this. It's one of the cuneiforms. Again, that can be a little bit uncomfortable to adjust by hand. There we go. What do you feel? Uh, it bends and moves a lot easier, uh -huh. a lot less pain. Good, Like yeah. I can actually use my big toe. Nikki has been coming in uh, and she said that she's been feeling a little bit, what was your word, like a little stuck. My foot has randomly been swelling up lately. I think I, well I have no idea what I did to it honestly, but having the little adjustments have been helping it and it's been going down and feeling a lot better, so. Yeah, so you've been feeling the, you can even see right there, it's even like a little bit, uh, a little bit bruised. This one's wiggling nicely. This one over here, ooh, no wiggle. <laughs> no wiggle at all. And then just right inside here, it's gonna add some motion. Good. There we go. Perfect. Try to relax that foot. Ooh, man, you got some slippery feet. There it is. Oh, perfect. Right there, just need to drop that bone. There we go, perfect. Yeah, right in there. Good. So for all those people doing at-home workouts, make sure when you're jumping up and down, you're not slamming your feet, you're landing like a cat. Or running on the trails. Or running on the trails learn from my mistakes and come in and treat your body before it starts getting injured and you see all the effects so make sure you come in and take care of yourself prior and be proactive for sure originally shane had come in for pain and discomfort in the foot 
right underneath the big toe. And now this is two months later. When I first came in, my foot hurt so bad I couldn't put any weight on it. After the very first session, I had to tighten my boot up because the swelling had gone down that quickly just from that very first adjustment. And over the next few weeks, the swelling continued to go down, the pain continued to go down. Just being free from the pain is one thing, but being able to actually get on with my life has been the most important part of this. So the motion of this joint, that's the very first thing. If you click back again to that other video, the first one we did this chain, it was almost nothing there. And then through his midfoot, it was extremely locked up. There was hardly any motion when I did this. Now it's near perfect. And same with his actual ankle joint. And again, he mentioned that swelling was drastically reduced after one adjustment. It's gone now, after two months. Right here on the top of his foot though. That's what we've been working on, bringing this metatarsal down right there. That's it, there's a little noise for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then up from underneath the foot. And again, I'm gonna use an instrument on this. There, and like that, the motion of it changed. So again, it's very minimal now. And then one on the outside there, it's the cuboid. Good. And turn around and walk back. All right, and again, Feeling good, right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So good job, Shane. Way to be consistent, and thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. I've started working at Laura since quarantine, and it is a lot more walking than I was used to before. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely feel it in my feet every morning when I wake up. Those first few steps I take are just shoot all the way up to my spine. And other than work, I still like to go to the gym like yeah. four to five times a week, so I definitely mm -hmm. feel both things combined together. Yeah. There's a lot of times when people are just very go, 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 they're always on their feet. And if you don't take good care of your feet, sometimes it can lead to the, you know, the aches and pains, especially right when you wake up and you take the first couple steps. And so right off the bat, what I'm noticing is this joint right up here is not moving as effectively as it should. And it's actually causing, yeah, down here to move extra. Nice, I just kind of contact that one spot with my thumb. Good, nice, help kind of bring it down with this hand. Good, just like that. And then right here, the talus. The talus is a bone right here and it's pushed up. So we need to help bring that down. So a little pull like this. Nice. Does that feel like that's what your ankle needed? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good, and even the calcaneus, right over here where it meets the cuboid is also feeling stuck. So I just kind of go like this. There it goes. Nice. The navicular is a bone right underneath the talus, or uh, uh, in front of the talus, right inside here. And that one's also pushed back, so I'm just gonna help bring it down like this. Good. Nice. And then the cuboid again, right over here, this time like this. Good. Oh, it feels so much better. <laughs> Does it feel like, uh, a lot of people say it's like walking on a cloud? Yeah, or? it, yeah, exactly. Thanks. I don't feel as much pressure, like, Sharp pains, mm -hmm. no sharp pains at all. Been with the podiatrist for the last two years trying to figure out what's going on with the pain in my foot and ankle and right, I was going to a therapist trying to help my hip to relieve the pain down in my ankle. And did that help uh, some? It did help some. Okay, but the pain is still there today. It's still there. And it's never really gone yeah. away, correct? So right here, if we get a close-up of that. The yeah, so there's swelling yeah. surrounding the joint because there's a mechanical problem. That joint's not moving like it should. So there's two bones, one right here, the talus, that's not gliding back. And then right underneath it there, the cuboid, where my thumb is, that same thing. It's not gliding how it should. And then the heel back here, those three together, with no movement is creating a problem. So Susan, I'm gonna make a small correction okay. there. You're gonna feel that move a little, might make a little noise, it might not. There, it's all as you feel that move, but you didn't notice I it. Didn't notice. There's a small mm -hmm. movement. This one, that swelling's already leaving. <laughs> and then right here on the outside, one more. 
She says, ah, thank you. <laughs> there, and there's this night and day, the movement there, and the swelling. The swelling's gone on the top of your foot. Wow. It's probably been there for a long time. Look, we can actually see some of the vascularity changing, and this pool that was here is no longer here. Okay, one more on the top here. And so small movements, very small movements on everything. And let's have you take a few steps and see how that feels, even. Oh, yeah. I can tell. You can tell? Yeah. yeah. definitely. How does it feel to it's, you? Pain's not there. The pain's not there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this has been a lot of years in the making here. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to watch more, click the subscribe button below. Make sure to leave the comments, and if you have a video you'd like us to make, we're open to doing it. Just let us know what you want to see. Yeah! Mm. <laughs>